Hello. Uh, welcome to CCI. And thank you, parents, foster parents, caregivers, teachers, staff, students, custodians, grandpas, grandmas, and everyone who is here today. I'm honored to be here with y'all to celebrate the class of 2022. Now, let's give them a round of applause because we all deserve it. If I'm being honest with all of you, I never would have expected myself, a first generation Afro-Latino Canadian, to be giving this address to you all today. But I am glad I have this opportunity to share my authenticity. I appreciate everyone who trusted in me to deliver this speech today. And just know that I will carry you all in my heart wherever I go. The season of fall represents the beginning of a new journey. And in 2018, this is exactly what occurred. Walking through these doors of Central Elk was like stepping into a new world and experiencing the risks and challenges it presented us. Figuring out what classes we had, what time everything started, as well as what side of the hallway to properly walk on. Some of us still struggle with that last part. <laughs> it was nerve wracking as well as tedious at points, but through those moments, we met incredible people, formed new relationships, and created memories. Bunch, color run, Titan training day, Titan proving day, school dances, sports, band, the school plays, and so much more showed us that this new experience could have some cool times to it. As time went on, we were able to understand more and more about ourselves and who we are. We got to have a fun time doing it, and that's what counts. We learned how to be a part of a team, understand different perspectives, and put ourselves in unique situations and countless other activities CECI provides us so that we could become better people. Today, for many of us, marks the last day of our high school career. We have spent four years together in harmony, knowing what each day would bring us. However, from tomorrow onward, we will be by ourselves. Becoming nomads, venturing into the unknown, and trying to understand as much as we can about this thing called life. There will be no book or teacher to give us the answers this time. To show us our own story, we must choose it for ourselves. Many of us will gladly give away this freedom and give in to be tied down to something. And in that process, we can lose what dreams, hopes, and desires gain in these last 18 years of life. Or we can find another way and climb our way back into the light to show people what we are truly made of. We must not dismiss our unconscious impulses, but to trust our intuition and to follow the path we see fit. The power that must be unleashed to achieve the impossible is one that we can find within ourselves. But we must give it time though. The ideas will come, life will shake us around, roll us up a bit, hell, maybe embrace us, but we will get there. Also, it's important to know that courage, like morality, is redefined by each generation. The dangers that we know now cannot be dismissed, only looked upon. And with this comes how we choose to define our own lives. Will it be by the truth we find for ourselves and make our own reality? Or rather, the countless stories told on our behalf? For each of us, we will decide how we want to be remembered and create our identity around it. These next few years will be the birthplace or to better say, the foundation for our ideas to prosper and allow us to push ourselves to the place we need to be. None of them will be the same, and each step that is taken will expand the knowledge of what we once believed to be achievable, making us further understand how we can truly change the world. A world that was given to us with life, but kept us guessing. The one that we can shape in our own unique way. Like one that involves all of us having the same worth and value, and being able to work with each other like one that has the time and space to appreciate everyone who has contributed to the future, no matter where we are or what we decided to do. It could be retail, fast food, environmental science, kinesiology, computers, law, medicine, geography, philosophy, art, cinema, you name it. But it just has to be meaningful to us. Along the way, defeat and failure are bound to occur. There's no way to avoid it, trust me. All of us are going to experience it in one form or another. So why not embrace it every time it appears? This does not mean we shall accept defeat, but rather understand where we need to adapt and evolve to overcome the challenge at hand. We all had to deal with the pandemic, but 
Even in those tough times, we found a way to make it work. It wasn't easy by any means, but we still crafted a path to the other side. By being able to do this, we can push the boundaries we once set for ourselves and break the limits of what was only possible. By the way, during this time, some of us will arrive to our destination later than others, while some can arrive early. But with this, it's important to know that we will all arrive where we need to be when the time is right. Now, finally, to all of you wonderful people I got to spend the last four years of my life with, I'd like to thank you. Thank you for making this the best experience anyone could ask for. I will never forget you guys. We went on a journey together where none of us were prepared to deal with what light ahead, but one that never left anyone out of the picture. Saying this goodbye is one of the hardest things I have to do, but I know looking back on all this, everything we accomplished, the memories we created, and the story we left behind, it's something to be proud of. Let's hope this is not the last time we see or hug each other, but more like a temporary goodbye. Safe travels to wherever life may take us, and lots of love to those who will accompany you. Thank you.